How's it going folks? Craig Udelman here again. I'm going to teach you another old time tune. This one's called Rocky Palette. Comes from the plane of the skillet liquors and a nice chance to get into some of that slidey Georgia style with that mix of shuffling and weird weirdness. We'll get into that later. I'll try and just play the tune for you nice and clear first and uh, I'll throw in a couple tricks maybe then and then we'll show you what it's all about. So in the key of C here. Let's, uh, let's see if you can get that. Uh, we'll start at the beginning. Nice and nice and simple and clear, hopefully. That's enough for now. So, uh, and that could be separate or slurred. There, I'm doing a little slide. So those are all separate, right? Slur, separate, separate. So second phrase. So let's put that in context. Starting on the down bow. You'll notice after that first phrase, I'm just doing kind of a straight shuffle bowing, slur, separate, slur, separate. And that'll come in quite handy on this tune. You, know, you can change it up, but uh, it'll get you through a lot of it. So let's play that first section one more time. There. Another version. Second time through the A section. That's just that different ending there. That's how I like to bow it. Slur, slur, yeah. Something like that. 
Let's see if we can play that whole first part uh, with both endings nice and slow. Let's do the second part. That's pretty easy, right? So those notes there. Uh, and just a bit of a warning, I would Try not to hit that high string too loud when you come up there because it, it tends to pop out. And if you just try to lay off it a little bit, that usually seems to make everything go a little smoother. Uh, so. so now I'll do it and go on so you can hear the phrase. Add that all in there. So there's two good bowings for that. You can do it uh, as a kind of shuffle thing. Slur, separate, slur, separate. Or you can do three, three, two. Three, two, three, two. All right, that's a good bow, and you're throwing all these shuffly twos. So you go from. All right, gives it that nice syncopation. Uh, so let's play that whole bit. Uh, oh, so the second ending there, so then we go again. Second ending. So the whole B section. And here's the last section, which is a lot of shuffle bow and a bunch of notes, uh, but it, it's it's not too bad for you, I'm sure. So, uh... the bowing there, slur, slur, separate, then here comes the shuffle, again, so together that's, one last time. Again. 
There's a different bowling if you want. Instead of just shuffling, slur. Notice again, I use a, a slur of three notes to give a bit more swing, combined with some choppy single notes. So that whole first half of the C section. That last phrase, and you got the whole tune. The second ending there is. And you can tell on all of those chords there, I'm just barring, barring my first finger on both strings, and then putting the second finger down right on top. So that last section. The whole thing, like this. It's nice to make that last ending really clear. So let's see if we can play the whole tune at a nice slow tempo like that. And then uh, I'll show you a couple tricks on that.
fun tune, isn't it? Uh, well, okay, let's uh, we'll show you a couple variations there on that on that first section, especially because some of what's so nice about the skillet liquors, Fiddlin, Good Tanner, Clayton McMitchin, all those guys, Low Stokes. Uh, you get a lot of these nice slides and and just some not too complicated variations, but they really they really make it come alive. They make it fun to play with a couple different fiddlers. Um, so let's start with a few of the, the more fun ones. Uh, you hear occasionally these little little kind of screams, uh, and uh, I promise you, you throw one of those in in a jam, and somebody will look at you and smile. Uh, so if that's what you're after, this is an important skill to have. And you just you just pull your finger back down. And I'm kind of starting with a bit more pressure and then easing off on the bow. You can do it with any finger. I think it's easiest with the second and third. Uh, and so that can be... It's really nice when we have enough time and it's on the high string so it comes out. So I would do it there, probably most likely. Uh, there's a lot of different ways of playing that first little run of notes. I love that when you use the, the major seventh of the scale, the B. Also, when you're going from the 1A section to the repeat, you can do that thing. So I'm just taking my second finger, reaching it, you know, back to where the first finger goes somewhere. And the key is just to then get back in position so your fourth finger will be in tune. You can see I often do that just by kind of shifting the knuckle, like the whole finger is just going like that. You can also do it with more of your, your hand, but then you gotta come back into position. So for this, I think it's easier to do more of the finger. I remember I went and visited Doc, uh, Doc, um, Clyde Davenport a couple times and it's hard to tell because you know he, he was up in his 90s and so anyways a lot of his fingers weren't working as well but i was really impressed with just how much he was sliding his fingers up and down going up into second position you know whenever it felt right and it might seem like it's a more of a fancy classical technique to shift around but actually often on these c tunes you'll find that playing in second position can be a lot easier like on this tune you could do it Actually, that whole first first part in second position where your your first finger is on the the C or the, the G up there would be great. Um, so let me just play that first section with a few of those variations. So, uh, okay, now that we have the first phrase of that first section, there's a couple more things we can do a little bit later on in it. Uh, right, so get a little skip in there. And so I think it sounds more complicated than it is. I don't know. It's just a nice short note. And I like to lift the bow off the string just because it feels right, but you definitely don't have to, and it's probably easier if you don't. And one big slur there. The 
he has got the timing right, so it skips, right? You can also do it with the slide, a little more bluesy. Music. There's also just a little slide on that C. That really makes it come out, a little bit of vibrato even at the end. one of my favorites there is you just sort of leave out some of the melody and suddenly there's just a bit of space that really makes it soar. Right, it's kind of different but it, it just still works fine with the banjo player. Usually if I do that, I'll just do it on half of the tune, like a... Like that. Uh, let's see, okay, in the B section... Just a couple little thing, a little thing you can do. Right, that can be really clear or or you can do an extra. Or you can throw in a couple extra notes there if you want. So you know you're gonna do that thing a bunch of times in the tune if you want, switch it around a little bit. And then the high note. Could be more of a weird bend where I'm just starting my finger actually behind the string, you know, really on the nut, and then just sort of inching it forward. Or it could be a like really syncopated or that's how I do that so slur it in turns and now we get to the last section and here you hear them playing a few different variations you know they they, they get going and have a good time the scout lickers uh you can play it exactly straight or uh, it's one of those phrases that it's nice to just kind of work and find your own different ways of doing it uh this syncopated uh, chord thing. So I'm just going up the scale, uh, the chord, sorry, with these little dramatic turns.
until I spent a bit of time just playing around with that kind of stuff. So feel free to do that. Feel free to not do that. And uh, just enjoy yourself. All right, that was Rocky Palette. Uh, I'll play it for you once now through uh, as crazy as I can. Just one more thing, I'm just gonna point out here, uh, notice how sometimes you can really swing by playing straight. So I just, as you're working on this tune, think about, you know, as you're playing in a slower tempo, you might wanna swing a bit more, and as you get faster especially, find that groove that's really straight and really swingy, and have fun with it. See you next time.